So done. I should try not to drop my controller like that. Hi everyone. Oh hey, it's this guy again. <clears throat> this is probably going to be a bit freer than yesterday, because this is like, we're sort of reaching the end of Japanese peak time, so I'm not going to have quite the same level of competition. However, that cuts both ways. So.
No, it's not. Okay. That was mostly worth it, the um, health freeze the last guy. He's gonna have baller and that's not too big of a deal. Um, until the entire enemy team's up, so... Give it time to paint a little bit. So that was a bit of a slow start, but <clears throat> I... at the moment my main goal is to get out of the shit scared playstyle that I've kind of developed from having such bad internet for a while. Um, the other thing that I need to be doing is basically painting it a lot more. That was a lot of points. So, okay, so at the moment, and this, I'm mainly saying this because, like, <laughs> it's going to be really hard to tell um, if you aren't familiar with the game. The main problems I have are tactical rather than mechanical. Like, my aim isn't as good as I want it to be, and my movement isn't as good as I want it to be and all that. That's, that's fair enough. Like, I'm not expecting it to be perfect yet. The main problems that I have are to do with reading when I can make aggressive plays relatively safely. Um, at the moment, my general play style is to sort of sit back, turf, and shark people who are trying to push in, which is okay, but that doesn't win games. That just means that we don't lose as easily. But of course, the problem is if I ever get out dueled in one of those situations, like if I shark someone and get two hits on them and they turn around and fucking shoot me in the face, that um, isn't exactly beneficial. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I, I need to focus on learning how to be aggressive without feeding. Oh my god, holy shit, that was lucky. Oh, he actually stopped me. Okay. I thought there was, like, I just died at the same time that he got a grenade, that the grenade exploded, so I was like, oh, that must have been the grenade, but, but how could that work? Because I wasn't vulnerable to it. But, you know. Oops. I hate when that happens. It just like it rolls toward me and I just explode. I'm just gonna chill here for a sec.
Gotcha, bitch. Fucking saw that shit. going to be playing in tournaments, there is a clan tag in my name. Um, that's what the I am is. Um, as for how, like, as for how well I'm going to do with that, you know, who knows, but... Um, thoughts on the Octobrush? It's very overrated. It's, um, it punishes a certain playstyle that people tend to adopt uh, when they don't really know the map, which is to sort of play scrappily and just, like, impatiently. Um, which, like, once you learn the maps, the Octobrush is not going to be a strong weapon at all. Or I could just sort of jump into one like that. Like, that's... That's the sort of shit that the Octobrush excels against, is people doing shit like what I just did, where I just sort of jumped into it. Like, all I need to do is get away from it, and then just turn around and shoot it once it was out of, uh, out of range. Still got plenty of time. They've... My well went down. Fuck me. Let's hide that. Holy shit, can we not fucking kill ourselves like this? Yeah. And we had an aerospray spray that game, there's not much we can do. <clears throat> I think we had aerospray spray and charger, and so the charges cancelled each other out in terms of throwing, and then we just had an aerospray. spray. Which just immediately dies to any kind of bucket. No, no bucket or uh, brush. Which, they had a brush, which, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not too worried about games like that. Like, there's no point getting hung up over bad team comps because they're just going to happen and either you... You either carry in spite of it or you lose because of it and either way, like, there's nothing you can really do. And yeah, Hamster, I sort of figured that wouldn't take too long to get used to. Like, motion is a lot more intuitive than dual sticks, and, you know, if you've spent years in, like, Xbox games, uh, Xbox FPS games, just learning dual sticks, then yeah, dual sticks are going to be fine for you, but um, for the most part, like, the people, people picking up the game going, motion's a gimmick, we should use dual sticks, um, aren't those kinds of people. In fact, I would say that a lot of Halo players, uh, or Halo, COD, whatever players, are just as likely to pick up motion because they know it's a better... Um, well, not... It, it's a uh, more intuitive, precise control scheme. <sighs> okay, they have an E-Leader, we have a Rapid and a Roller. It should be okay.
Don't worry about sucking. Everyone sucks to begin with. Like, the act, oh, I say act, being bad at something isn't a problem. What is a problem is not aiming to rectify that. Like, it doesn't matter if, you know, you're the worst player to ever play Splatoon, as long as you have, you aim not to be. Right? Like, I, I, the way I always put it is, like, I'd much rather have someone on my team who is terrible, but is willing to fix that, and is willing to accept that, than some- oh, hey, I got someone nice. Like, I'd, I'd rather have someone like that than someone who is sort of decent, but also is a complete pain in the ass to deal with, and, like, doesn't- doesn't improve, doesn't learn, doesn't- you know, that heavy was gonna destroy me no matter what. Dude, he has horned. No, he has thumb like I'm like. Okay, we did at least get a penalty. The difference between Motion and Six is overblown a bit. Um, motion is generally better, but oh my goodness. Okay, I was wondering why we weren't able to outpaint anything, and that explains a lot. Um, yeah, so Motion, like, if you're really good with sticks, you actually, there are some upsides to using sticks, namely, um, with motion, you always have that kind of jitter from when you're, like, pressing a trigger or, like, pressing a button or whatever that will throw your aim off a little bit. And, um, on top of that, like, you can sort of sit a bit more comfortably when you're just using sticks because you aren't, like, you don't have to sit in a sort of upright position to make sure that you're, or a consistent position or whatever to, like, hold the controller and move it properly. Um, so there are upsides to using sticks, but it's, like, in order to actually make the best use of those upsides, you have to have played sticks in, like, COD or Halo or something for years. Um, so, it, yeah, motion's just generally a lot easier to get into, has... it's arguably more precise, etc. Um, is meaning a good thing in this game? I actually don't get asked that a lot, but, um... Nonetheless, I do have a... <laughs> bit of an opinion on that. So... One problem that I see a lot of people having is uh, not sticking with something, not sticking with the main weapon. So, in this, in this game, it is actually worthwhile to stick with a weapon for a long time and like learn all the ins and outs of it. Now, Um, so yeah, to maining a weapon, the, the main thing that you get is sort of consistency, right? So when you're learning a game, especially something like Splatoon that is quite different from a lot of uh, games that you might think of as similar, um, the main thing is that, like, you need to you need to have a sort of consistent baseline to, to use, right? And one of those things that you can do to keep your game consistent is to use like the same weapon over and over again. 
so that your weapon is constant, which means that everything that isn't constant, like, say, the maps and whatnot, you can sort of get used to a bit more easily. And, like, if you master a ten attack, for example, you're learning a lot about spacing, you're learning a lot about movement, about how to take duels, how to, like, pick fights, how to shark people, etc. There's a lot to using ten attack that... Like, see, right there, for example, I knew exactly what my... Like, because I've used 10 attack for ages, sort of on and off, it's always been something that I'm comfortable using. You know? um, but yeah, so a problem that a lot of people have is that they don't stick to a weapon once they've decided they're going to main it. Um, like, if you're going to play... If you're going to play a ton of 10 attack, just keep going with it. Like, it's gonna suck to begin with, you're gonna feel terrible using it, but then at some point you're gonna, like, figure it out and be like, yeah, sure, this is actually really good now. Like, one of the- one of the things that a lot of Japanese players do is, like, they will stick with a weapon. They do not give a fuck how good or bad it is. If they- like, a lot of people will pick up the ten attack because it's a ten attack and, like, it's the meta weapon. But, like, a lot of people will just, you know, pick up Inkbrush, right? And they will just play nothing but Inkbrush. Like, no matter how good or bad the weapon is on the rotation, they'll just play it. Um, and through that they will actually master it. Now, a lot of people don't do this, and like, I'm not saying this is exclusive to Japan or anything, but by doing that you do learn a lot more than you would if you just picked whatever is ostensibly strong on a certain map. Sorry if that seemed a bit of a stilted answer, because I'm, I was actually concentrating pretty hard that game, I'm trying to rank up for once. Um, like... Yeah, anyway. Uh, Clash, Flingzer, and Gootuber. Um, Gootuber is the worst weapon in the game. Um, no exaggeration, it is awful. It is irredeemable. There is literally no point to using it. Um, basically, like... The only reason you would ever use a Gootuber is if you are styling on the enemy team, if you are trying to throw as hard as you can, or if you are, like, making a montage or something. Um, am I going to Squidstorm? No, I can't afford to drop $2,000 on a plane ticket. Uh, Clash Blaster. Clash Blaster is pretty strong. Um, the problem right now is that its special is the Stingray, which makes no sense for the weapon. Splat Bomb uh, is really good with it, but like the problem it has is that because it doesn't paint, you can't really use it in solo queue, um, and it doesn't like it, it. It's like a harder custom blaster, and the custom blaster has a better kit, so there's not much point using the Clash Blaster right now. However, the I think the Clash Neo actually has a decent kit, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, Flings of Roller is... <sighs> I just saw our team comp. Well, fuck.
Uh, Flings and Roller isn't terrible. Um, a lot of- it's just very difficult. Like, it's... Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Why? That's gonna kill me! Ah. If you're a goober, grab a tuba. Shit, there's a guy there. Oh. That was literally an unwinnable game. The GooTuber existed. The we also had another charger, and for some reason we got two charges against an error meme a fucking tri slosher a rapid blaster, and I think it was the 10 attack. So, um... No, it was a custom blaster. Like... That was just... But no, seriously, GooTuber is literally the worst weapon in the game. The Ink Brush, much of a much as it's a meme, the Ink Brush actually four shot kills now uh, consistently, and it also paints not amazingly well, mind you, but it paints. Um, it has a nice kit that makes sense with the weapon, and 